Hello, how are you? Come on in. Um, I hope you're well. I am uh, back at home and um, I am sure I have lots to tell you. So I was in Wales um, for a week and it was absolutely lovely. And I went to the Aldi and I watched the Hunger Games and it was just like last year. And, uh, and I hope that we do it every year. I went on some walks as well, um, me and himself and uh, himself's brother and himself's brother's two nippers. And it was just very relaxed. And uh, as I told you, I finished my book and I have been felled by exhaustion. Um, every afternoon on me on my trip to Wales, I went to bed for a couple of hours and slept like. Um, and uh, that, that was how it was. And um, now I'm home and I have a thing to tell you about old woman. So I was over with her yesterday, which was Saturday, and um, we see each other every Saturday. Um, we're still counting the Saturdays. It was 17 Saturdays yesterday since Dad died. And it'll be four calendar months tomorrow, which is still no time, really. And I was just lying there with my feet in her lap, and I said to her, you know, I wonder how Dad is, because that's how I feel. I'd love to be able to ring him and check that he's okay. Um, it's the oddest, oddest thing. And it's just very weird when you can't talk to a person. And so anyway, we were there and we were chatting away about nothing. Uh, Hannah has been sick. Hannah got uh, some illness that gave her spots, but it wasn't measles, it was suspected foot and mouth. I don't know how these things happen, but anyway, I don't think it was. Which is a shame, really, because as you know with us Keezes, we like to take off every illness there is. And it would have been handy if she'd done that for us. But anyway, so I was leaving, just getting up to leave, and old woman goes, could, could, could you look something up for me on, on your yokeen? And that means, would I, would I look up something on the internet for her? And I thought, oh, you know, she wants to know if, if some owl label makes the owl coats that she likes or you know or, or if echo shoes do things in her size or that and i said yeah yeah grand and she goes could you look up Cruz is leaving from dublin port and i'm like what so I, as i said nothing so i said yeah grand so okay and i said and where would this cruise be going she goes norway the fjords so uh so i found there was a cruise leaving from dublin port going to the norwegian fjords and she goes, OK, uh, how many nights? And I said, well, there's one that's 12 or there's one that's eight. She goes, Grand, so we'll do the eight nights. And I said, hold on a second. Are you going on a cruise? And she goes, oh, yes, you, me, Heiterton, that's what she calls Katrina, and Gary, that's Rita Ann. And this, I can't describe to you the shock because, as you know, we're going to knock with her in May. And that felt like the most kind of exotic thing that we'd ever persuade her to do again in her life and she goes i like it because there's no airport there'll be no walking and i said so so we're going on a cruise to norway and she goes yes and i said are the husbands coming and she goes oh no just the girls and and i'm in shock and and so we're going on a cruise and then i said to her can Hannah come? And she goes, oh, would you have a scrap of sense? Hannah can't come. And I said, why not? And she goes, could you imagine us with Hannah in Norway? And I said, Hannah would love Norway. And she goes, Hannah would love Norway. She goes, well, but Hannah isn't coming. And so anyway, we're going on a cruise. The four of us, it will be like the Golden Girls. We'll be three women in their 50, well, no, Gary won't be. And then there will be the old woman. Um, one of their mothers um, in the Gold Girls. Well, that's what we'll be. So um, it's booked. We've paid the deposit this morning. Um, and Rita Ann and Katrina were on for it. And it's just the maddest thing ever. But like, she's incredible. Like, she has embraced, re embraced life um, in the last few months because she had so much guilt about dad and. You know, whenever she went anywhere and she had to leave him at home with minders, she felt really, really guilty about it. And it's just nice to see her doing her thing now. So, um, 
It's Sunday, so I'm going over to Old Woman's later, and they're all coming. Um, Gary, the Redzers, Hannah, Teddy, Tyg, Emma, my beloved Emma. Um, and uh, I, I really miss them. I'm dying to see them all. It's been a few weeks. And and so I have finished my book, sort of. I mean, I'm waiting for my edits, which would be, which would be brutal and grueling. But I'm doing things that I haven't done in a while, like uh, I'm organising my banjoing area and uh, himself got me a lovely press from Ikea that I'm going to move all my things out of the utility press into my special banjoing press and that's nice. And uh, hang on, I have to ask him things. Is there anything else that we've been doing? No. No, he says. Um, uh, no, I feel there are things. Oh yeah, yeah, hang on, I wanted to tell you something. Right. Avida. It's this speed of light blow dry accelerator spray. This is incredible. As you know, I have fabulous extensions and the only downside to them is that it takes me about a day and a half to blow dry my hair. And this, I don't know how it works because it makes your hair wetter. You have to spray it on your wet hair, towel dried wet hair to saturate it again. But then it's dry and jig time. And this is one of those rare things that actually genuinely works. So it's by Avida, it's called Speed of Light. I don't know if it's actually a Speed of Light Speedy, but um, it's immensely fast. It, it's made a huge difference to my life. And I bring it now on the rare occasions that I go to a hairdresser to get my hair blow dried, because when they see me coming with my fabulous locks, you can see their face. You can feel, feel that first they want to cry and then they hate me. They, they, they go down and then they go up. And I present them with this and say, no, 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 don't hate me, please. This will work. This will actually make it quicker. And then they're always amazed. Um, so at the minute, I'm reading the long list entries for the Comedy Women in Print reward. And it's just so enjoyable. It's lovely to read and call it work. I mean, I did a lot of that in Wales. I think I read five of the books. Um, you know, I used to go to bed in the afternoon with the book and say, look at me, I'm working. And I am also preparing my scripts and stuff for the BBC Four um, a show that I'll be doing. I'll be recording four shows on the 24th and the 25th of May, I think. Yeah, the 24th and 25th of May in that there London. I let you know it will be filmed before a live studio audience. So um, if you want tickets, I will apprise you if that's even the word. Um, so Easter is coming. There will be lots of chocolate. Um, God, you should hear old woman's preparations for Easter week. It is fabulous. Hang on, there's, there's devotions on Thursday. Then on Friday with the stations. She means the stations of the cross. And then we have a long mass. That's the one where they go release Barabbas, you know. And then we have devotions again on the Saturday. And oh yes, and we all have to go to confession. You have to do your Easter duty. And, um, and, uh, and then of course we have Easter Sunday. We have the resurrection. And, uh, you know, it's a big deal for her. Um, but for us, but for me anyway, it's chocolate. Um, I hope you're well. Um, I have no telly news to tell you about, really. We've start, started watching some Swedish show called, is it Quicksand? Very good. Um, it's about rich Swedish people. I didn't think there was such a thing. I thought that they were all lagom -y. And that's a word, a Swedish word, meaning we don't show off and we don't be owning yachts. But the, the people in, the, in this show own a yacht, which is, um, I don't know, feels all wrong. But still, it's very enjoyable. So I hope you are well and I will talk to you next Monday, God willing, DV and all of that.